Hello students. Hope so you all are doing well at home. You know that we were discussing about chapter 6 life processes. Before coming to the main topic, let's revise a bit about life processes. You know that life processes are those processes which are very essential for the survival of any organism present on this earth. And you know that there are basically four processes which are essential for any individual. That is nutrition, respiration, circulation, excretion. We have already started about the nutrition. First you must know that what is nutrition. It is the process of obtaining food either by preparing itself or getting from some other organisms. So it is the process of obtaining food and utilizing it for getting energy. Under the topic nutrition, we have already discussed about its types. We have already discussed about autotropic nutrition in details. We have already discussed about the difference between autotropic and heterotropic nutrition. Under heterotropic nutrition, you know that there are three types of nutrition that is holozoic, saprophytic and parasitic. In class, we have already discussed about holozoic nutrition, saprophytic nutrition and parasitic. Under holozoic nutrition, I think we have already discussed about nutrition in amoeba. The only part under the nutrition which is left that is nutrition in human beings. So today... In my discussion, we are going to have discussion about nutrition in human beings. So, hope so you are ready for this. So, let's start with nutrition in human beings. As we know that, we have already discussed in class also, that human beings also show heterotropic nutrition, that is, they cannot prepare their own food and depends on other organisms for their food and nutrition. And they show holozoic nutrition. What is holozoic nutrition? Those organisms which feed on solid food and engulf through mouth. We call it as holozoic nutrition. And under holozoic nutrition, there are five basic steps. First one, that is ingestion. Second, digestion. Third, absorption. Fourth, assimilation. And fifth, ejection. We have already discussed in class about what is ingestion, what is digestion, what is absorption, what is assimilation and what is ejection. Under nutrition in human beings, we are going to discuss basically about the anatomy. That is, what is anatomy? First, you must know what is anatomy. Anatomy is the study of internal organs. Like we will discuss about the complete digestive tract, the structure of the human digestive tract. And the second one is the physiology. What does this mean? Physiology means the working of internal organs. That how internal organs perform their functioning. So for that we are going to specifically discuss about various glands associated with the human digestive system. There are five basic glands associated with the salivary that is with the human digestive system. First one salivary glands, second gastric glands, third one liver, fourth one pancreas and fifth one intestinal glands. Later on I will discuss in detail about their location the size and the secretions and their functioning. Now let's discuss first about the anatomy part that is the structure of human digestive system. First 